Okay, so I've got between five and a half and six pounds of uh, beef short ribs, and they're basically they're already cut up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in a pot. Now this next step is optional. You don't have to do it, but I highly recommend it because it gives you a very nice clean soup, and that's what I like. Okay, so I have my ribs in the pot. I've covered them. You know, I don't have to worry about too much. Just cover them. And then I'm going to bring them up to a boil, and I'm going to simmer or boil these things for about 15 minutes to get a bunch of the gunky stuff out of it. Now, you don't have to do this step. You can skip it. But if you're going to skip this step, be sure to wash your bones really well before you cook, before you make your soup, because whenever they cut the ribs with a bandsaw, there's little pieces of bone that are left on them, and you want to get that off. But we'll get that off later. Okay, so my... Uh, Beef ribs have been cooking for a little, or boiling for a little while. The pot's getting all nasty looking. I mean, you can see that's just ugly. Okay, so the pot's washed. Bones are washed. I made sure to check on, make sure there was no bone fragments, all that good stuff. Now, I got I covered them with water, a little extra water, and I put kind of back on the heat. We're going to start bringing these up to a simmer, and we're going to simmer these things until they're tender. And that's going to take probably two, three hours. It depends on the ribs. Now I've got half an onion that I've cut in half, or I've got a, a medium onion that I've cut in half and I've thrown the whole onion in there. Now if I had a large onion, I would only use half of it. Throw a couple bay leaves in here, some garlic cloves, some salt and pepper. Just to kind of kick things off, I'm using two teaspoons of salt and, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So anyway, we're gonna let this simmer until the ribs get tender. All right, we're going to check these ribs, see what's going on in here. Now, I've been skimming off a little bit of fat and stuff. I've got some floating around over here. I'm not going to really worry about that right now. Yeah, see, these are just getting tender. There's still some give to them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw my fork on the floor, turn these off, and I'm basically going to put these in the refrigerator overnight and then we'll skim off everything all the fat tomorrow and we'll continue cooking them tomorrow so see you tomorrow okay so our soup and our ribs and everything has been in the refrigerator overnight and you can see there's this big thick layer of fat and now it's real easy to take this off I like to take it off if you don't want to you don't have to but it really does make a difference in how the soup feels in your mouth and Plus, it's a little bit healthier. So we're going to take this all off. Get rid of that. You can save it for something else if you want to. Now, we're also going to pretty much take out like these little pieces of onion because these are just soft and mushy now there's really nothing left in there flavor wise so we're going to kind of fish those out if we see the bay leaves we'll take those out as well now one of the things I'm going to have to do because this pot's not big enough I'm going to have to put this in two pots so I'm going to separate everything out I'm basically going to divide this into two pots and I'll be back with you here in a little bit Okay, so I've got both pots heating up. I took it the chance to uh, empty this one out. I cleaned the pot. I really like clean soup. Uh, just gunky stuff floating around in there. I don't really like that. So anyway, I strained off the stock, divided everything up. I've got half the stock, half the stock, half the bones, half the bones. And we're gonna we're heating these up. Now this burner's a little slower, just so you know. I'm gonna take about, I've got some potatoes. Now, how many vegetables is all up to you? I like lots of vegetables. I really think that putting lots of vegetables in your soup helps to get, give it more flavor, and I believe that's what really sets a good soup apart. I've got some carrots. Now, you, you can use ugly carrots. See, that one's got a little split. There's nothing wrong with that. Use it. All right, now, I'm putting the carrots and potatoes in early because they need to cook longer than the other ingredients. And also the potatoes, whenever they're done, they will start to break down and thicken the soup. Just a little bit around the edges, which is what we want. It's not a stew, it's a soup. 
All right, so we're gonna put the rest of the vegetables in here. And we're gonna start adding a little bit of water to these things because uh, there's not enough water. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in each one of these because I'm adding vegetables. I'm adding about half a teaspoon. And we're gonna have to adjust our salt later, but we're just gonna add a little bit as we go. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. The next vegetable that's gonna go in is cabbage. I've got a small head of cabbage. This was a two pound head of cabbage. I don't like having a whole bunch of extra cabbage left over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this core out. Right there. There we go. We're gonna cut this into more manageable pieces. And we're gonna cut all this up because it's all gonna go in. Our next vegetable that we're going to go ahead and prep is our green beans. We're going to cut the ends off of them. Then we're going to cut them into pieces and more manageable and eat when you go to eat your soup. There we go. Something like that. That'll be good. We'll just finish cutting the rest of those up. Okay, so the soups are just coming back up to a simmer and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and put the green beans and the cabbage in putting the green beans on the bottom now you're gonna say this looks like an awful lot of cabbage and I'm gonna say yes you're right it looks like a lot of cabbage but cabbage really cooks down so don't worry about it too much now remember half of this goes in the other pot so next up we're gonna prep a chayote Anyway, this is what one looks like before you peel it. It's not much difference. You may have seen them in the store. Now, if you go to certain Latino markets, you'll see them and they, they've got like uh, stickers or something on them. They, they look kind of weird, but a uh, friend of mine, that's the only one she'll buy. But hey, I just assume buy these, they're a little easier. But she says the other ones do taste better. So anyway, this thing's peeled. But see, you got this little piece right here couldn't quite get the skin off of that so we're just going to kind of trim that off now it's got a little bit of a seed in here so we're going to take that out a little bit more that unappetizing portion we'll take that off and then what we'll do we're going to dice this thing up Okay, so I've got a big squash here. Let me cut the ends off of it. Cut it, and we're gonna dice this devil up. There we go, something like that. Okay, so I, I checked my seasoning and I'm definitely a little bit low. So I'm gonna need, I'm just gonna slowly keep adding salt. Like right now I'm putting in a half a teaspoon in each one of these pots. Now because I'm gonna add more vegetables, I need a little more liquid. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more in here. Now, for for a spice or herbs, I'm gonna use the Mexican oregano. I've got two teaspoons here, so I'm gonna put a teaspoon in each one of these. I'm just gonna crush this up. You don't want a whole lot in there. There we go. And we're gonna bring this back to a simmer and let it simmer for a couple minutes before we put the rest of our vegetables in there. Okay, so my carrots and potatoes, they're getting tender. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ch half, put my chilote and squash in here. Like I said, you know, i got to do half and half because i got two pots. Excuse me. Small kitchen, kind of hard to cook and film at the same time. But we'll make it work. Stir that up. And we're going to put our corn in here. There 
There we go. We're basically going to let this cook until everything's tender and then we'll serve. So let's plate up our soup. Go ahead, we'll turn this burner off. We're going to go in here, we're going to get some meat. Yeah, we're going to get some meat. Let's turn that, turn that over so it's more pretty. There we go. Now, nice piece of corn. We need a couple of carrots, some green beans. Lots of these vegetables in here. So let's season this up. I'm going to take a little bit of hot sauce. Not much, just a little bit. I like a little bit of hot sauce here and there. Take a nice big hunk of juicy lime. We're going to squeeze that in there. We're going to sprinkle a little cilantro. Okay, there we go. So, is it soup yet? That's delicious. You gotta give it a try. It takes a little time, but it's not that hard. Do it step by step. You can do it.